Hello Apples, welcome or welcome back to the Patreon today. Oh my god, why is Toto smiling at me right now? Oh my gosh, I just got like, yeah, okay, April, calm down. We have niche syndrome. I'm not sure if I'm still saying niche. I think that is niche syndrome. Oh, uh, I know that says syndrome, but I'm so excited for this one. Um, Yeah, guys, we're almost done. I think we only have like three more albums, I think. <gasps> Oh no. And then I still I still know I gotta get to the uh, 2001. <laughs> 2021 concert. So yeah. Also, I can't believe it. it's almost been a year since I saw One O'Clock. I cannot believe it. September, I think it was September 21st, I think I went and saw them in Dallas. Oh, not Dallas, Houston. So Lord, I gotta have to do like something special. Like we're gonna have to go rewatch concert footage or something so anyways without further ado let's see this intro i'm telling you guys nothing's gonna be the 35 album introduction that is my shit i still listen to that all the time okay let's go Ooh. okay different already though <laughs> they are walking in to somewhere. That's all we're getting? That sounds... Like... Futuristic, like Back to the Future, like where you can like travel. With the static right there. Okay, we'll see how it's gonna go. We have to carry it out. We have to <laughs> oh my god, that went so hard right off the bat. I love this being layered. Oh my god. The layering of this one. Like he's in the back like sometimes just like singing but then he's screaming. I love this. Also, god their lyrics always just tear me apart. I just wanna say the background? You know the layering of vocals? It's cute. That was so good. I love that the lyrics are always like taking me out. Like it and like in some ways too, like uh some of the lyrics kind of like give me flashbacks to 2020 like that song from the ambitions album oh wow i really because i really like these lyrics i, I always say that you guys know how i am with one o'clock their lyrics are always really hitting me straight in the heart it, every single album as soon as the album starts like the very first song i'm just like i want to start crying um next song is one of my freaking favorites I love this song, uh, Kaizen, uh, Kaizen, uh, Dreamer. I can always be tongue-tied trying to say that for the word. Yes, Daga! 
I love that song. Oh my god, they slay that song. <laughs> Are we like in our emo bag in this one? Because what the frick? Okay, this is called Konkatu Communication. Oh, I'm so sorry. I probably pronounced that so wrong. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Just from that little segment that I heard, I'm like, oh my god, what are we about to get? I'm never ready for you. Okay. He's like you. do that they have Toru um pans over here in my right ear and then you ha I hear um Tomoya and Ryota over here in this ear like the drums and uh basses over here that's really cool I love when they do that in their songs and you can you can only hear it if you have headphones in though because of the panning like if you have like if you're listening to like thing you probably won't even catch that <laughs> Okay, yes I am. Oh, that was play. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I love Tomoya on this song. I love the drums on how like, it first started and how it's ending right now with Tomoya. Dude, I'm telling you, this could be like an anime, like where like somebody's walking away from somebody else and it starts playing. Like I just see it, or like a drama, honestly. Okay, it was shaking him. Toto came in, oh shit! Toto came in hood. Give me a sec, I gotta calm down. And not like the um, reverb effects. That's really cool. <sighs> okay. Let's dance. Oh, it's so it's so nice. Like, oh my god. Woo! Yeah, that's it. That was so good. I think I've heard this next song. Juven Rock. <laughs> Wasn't this the song that was played in the last concert I watched called I think it was uh the last concert I watched was the 35 concert and they put us I thought I knew every single song but there was one song in there I didn't know and I think it was this one don't hold me to it I could be wrong but I think it was this one so this is Jupin Rock or Jupin Jupin I think this is Jupin I think this is it. Ooh, it really does sound familiar. Oh my god, I forgot lyrics on this. Oh my god, I love this song. Oh my god, oh my god, I cannot, I totally forgot. I 
I know heartache's on this. Or not heartache, uh, where, uh, wherever you are. Oh my god, love liar. Oh my god, I love this song. What do you want from me? Oh, this song goes so hard. Oh, favorite song off this album. Oh. What do you want from me? Just a liar. You give me every time you do that. I freaking love Liar with all my heart on. I love the next song also. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I don't think anything can beat Liar though. This song is so sweet. I'm gonna start crying. I feel it in my bones. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Rest me. We carry on. Okay, Riot, I'm scared it's gonna be like, ah! Okay, let's see. Everybody's screaming. Oh shit. Everybody's screaming. Everybody moving. Let's get enjoyed that one I love that he was like everybody just speak up like we're all one like you gotta ah oh, I love that okay what's adult suit gonna be about can you hear me with a blind desperation no but I can hear the emotion in your voice and I don't wonder you're about to make me cry what the freak I don't know why I thought this was about to be hard but this is gonna be got it I'm about to cry I have tears Gotta change this situation. <laughs> These verses are killing me. Ooh. You better play it. Okay. Stop 
whispering in my ear. It's like, it's like panning, the whisper was. Yes. Okay. So, I, like, from the songs that I didn't know off this album, so the ones that I've known so far is Liar, Kazen Kaku, Kazen Kaku the Dreamer, and uh, Wherever You Are. I knew those three songs, but out of all the other songs that I, like, I've listened to and then, but didn't know, this is my favorite one. Adult Suit. Oh my god, I love this song so much. I mean, we still got, I'm not sure how many more we got, but we still got more, but as of right now, the songs that, from the songs I didn't know, this is my favorite one. Ooh, that was so good. Okay. Next is, I don't even know if I can pronounce that. We're going, I don't even know if I really want to attempt to try to pronounce that. Because I'm probably going to butcher it. Wait, okay. Me can say. Ku kyo. Ooh. Kukyo, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna try it because I, I don't want to butcher it. I'm, I feel like this is exactly what I'm about to do if I keep trying. All right, let's go. Nobody's Home. I think that's the last song off this album too. I think that's how they ended this album was Nobody's Home. I do know that because I've heard it live a few times and I've heard it in the concert. I think uh, like one or one or two of the concerts that I've watched. Um, this one, I don't. This one, I could just like as soon as it started and like the like the tempo of this song was like fast, but like. It's weird because the way Taco was singing, it was like, I don't know how to, ex it's really hard for me to explain what I'm trying to think. I just know that when this song came on and I heard it, I could already picture Taco in a concert performing this song. Like this would just, like I just had it in my head with his, with his mic and the way he was like, I could just see him even mouthing the words. Like it, it was insane how much I really like got a flashback or like I haven't even heard this song in a concert, but like I could see Taco performing this. I don't, I don't know what it is. This one just was like. It's so insane because I haven't had that with anything else, anything else. Like, but though, as soon as this song came on, I could just picture Taka on a stage with the mic and all the members playing and Taka just, uh, uh, and then, oh, that was insane. I, this one was really good. Um, I, I'm not, I don't want to say this is the last song, but I think Nobody's Home is the last song, but I've heard this song. Um, it's also a sad song. Ah, the song. Oh.
Dance Acoustic. Okay, and I can't let that keep playing because if the way back comes on, we're we gonna listen to it, and that's not in this album, so. Their music is always so freaking amazing. I love their music, like always. They, they never, never disappoint. Like when it comes to lyrics, the way that they perform, the way that they literally everything about them. The way the guys play the instruments, like. They literally give it their all. You know they love what they're doing. Every single one of them. Even though Toto's a little much on stage, Taka's sometimes a little much. Like somehow I'm just be and Ryota and Tomo, yeah. Like he be making the faces that be just taking me out. Um, but yes, I don't think I could choose a favorite. Okay, let me go back and look at the actual like list. So from the ones that I know, Kaizen or Kaizen Kaku Kanku Kayu. Girl, you're gonna get it right one day, I promise. I can do it when I'm singing. Kaizen Kakayu, Dreamer. Um, Liar, Wherever You Are and Nobody's Home. From those, I don't think I could really choose a favorite. I don't. I can choose a favorite from the ones that I didn't know. From all the ones I didn't know, Adult Suit was my favorite. Oh my god, I don't know what it is about that song. I know the majority of that song was in Japanese. It was just so freaking good. I need to know the lyrics. I probably need to look up the lyrics to that one because... I don't know what it was, but that one really, really got me. So that's definitely going on my playlist for sure. Um, that one, the song, the uh, second to last song, the Mikanse, uh, and I'm gonna try to pronounce the end. That one, I don't know what it. Why I could just see them performing that, like it just, it, a vision in my head just came in. I could just see Taka singing that one. I don't know what it was about that song. I could just see him. Um, dude, check it down when he said ASS. Oh, I don't know why I'm spelled when he said ass. <laughs> that, I was, because they, they kind of like bleeped it in like the lyrics. I was like, he's not about to say it. But then again, he he, he literally says the F word during concert. So I, I should be surprised. Um, Jupin Rock, I'm pretty sure that's the one that I heard in um, the 35 concert that I didn't know. Um, oh, all these songs were just so good. Uh, yes, I Am and then Con Zat to communication oh i really like that one too i liked all of these songs all these songs was really good <sighs> and then nobody's home they always end it on the, the sad ones i think 35 is the only one where i was like really hyped with the end song um because ambitions they i literally bawled my eyes out with take what you want god that song still makes me tear up to this day i cannot with that song um i really do just love them i i really do like it's like i said i'm so excited the, okay so this was 2010 and the next album we're gonna do is um let me see 2008 kanjo effect okay i think this has um this has that other guy the other guitarist in here so it's not just gonna be toto playing i think uh the other guy was actually like on the electric guitar i think toto was on the rhythm one uh, like the rhythm guitar because I think he did a lot of rapping and like like ad libs and stuff if I'm, if I'm not mistaken I could be totally wrong but um and then yeah Ryota still on the bass and then Tomi on the drums actually yeah I right it might have been the 2007 one their very first album the Zete Kubayo I'm not sure I said that probably so wrong I think that's the one where Tomi wasn't the drummer right I know Tomi wasn't a drummer at one point. I'm not sure if it was before they even like made an album or if it was after the first album. I'm not sure. I think I don't know if the 2007 one Tomoya was the actual drummer in that one. I'm not sure because I knew that Tomoya came later. Um, so yeah guys we're getting into the old ones next. We jumped from 2010 to 2008. It Two years and that's another thing too I think it was in um never let this go. I don't think it was never it was either never let this go or I think it I'm pretty sure it was a uh, Kanzu to communication where they were like we're gonna go up from here like we like and that's what I said I think that's when they start like 2010s like when they really was like going like they're taking off I think that was the con Kong Zhu to communication. I think that was where they were like they were they're taking off. They're ready to take off. Um, 
and like and if you see you jump from 2008 to 2010 and then from there 2010 to 2011 to 2013 like they were like constantly coming out with songs so i think that's when they're like we're ready we're coming for you we're gonna keep like we're gonna go um so yeah Oh, insane, incredible, and I'm so excited to get into the older stuff because that's the ones that I'm probably gonna like. Especially when Toto starts screaming. I know a lot of people, okay, it's in the next album, uh, Kanjo Effect. A lot of people's been wanting me to uh, react to um, Living Dolls. I know I've seen a lot of comments for that one. Also, 20 Years Old. I'm pretty sure I reacted to 20 Years Old. I'm pretty sure I reacted to that. Um, I'm trying to see if I no notice anything else. Doppelganger sounds pretty cool. Um... Crazy botch. Oh my god, I want to see. I want to hear that. Because <laughs> it just reminds me of, hey, y'all crazy bitch, but you fuck so good I'm on. I don't know if you guys know that song. It's by Book Cherry. <sighs> yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't. <gasps> oh, oh, Yum Yum. Yum Yum is on the first album. Oh my god, that's when, that's when Toto raps. Oh, I know a lot of you guys. Oh, actually, I do have. I'm so freaking sorry. If you're watching this, you guys you um this person knows who they are requested me to react to this i swear i'm gonna get to it i just have really like i've been so busy that i haven't been able to get to requests very much lately and i know this is like a big one and i'm gonna get to it i promise um it, yeah yum yum there is a live from uh like a new revert like um was it the 2021 concert I know I'm going to get to that concert, but somebody asked me to react to just this segment, and they sent me a link, so I'm going to get to that, and that's, that's going to be on YouTube. Well, if it's from that concert, it might not be on YouTube. I might have to blur it and put it on my Patreon, actually, because um, I don't want to get striked and my channel get taken down, because I don't like lives are like a hit and miss, especially when it comes to like um, from their actual concerts. Like, that's why I don't, that's why when I do post like highlights of my concerts, I put a blurry effect over them, because I... I don't want to get a strike so yeah but anyways i'm excited for the rest of them and i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll catch you guys in the next one